want to do right here is you want to cut, if you want these in a row, obviously this one don't fit here. I mean, it fits there, but this one doesn't fit there. So you have to cut with a razor blade right there on the top to let that sit flush back in. And then it gives it where your light and then your fog lights right there. So it just makes it look like a cleaner setup. So far the finish for this, we don't like. It's a little bit more of a mock color. Instead of these, it's kind of like a satin. Um, but other than that, so far, it, it ain't hard. And then up through here, it's gonna be the access all the way up there. So next, we're gonna get to that. Flat, like flat uh, trim remover and run it across and pop, pop, pop. And then once it's holding or latching, you take the opposite end, you flip it up and it knocks it out. Just run it across and it's not gonna damage any of this. I wouldn't use a flathead or anything. Always use anything with plastic, with plastic on plastic. For your access point is right there. Underneath the, the driver's side, there's an access point to get into the engine. Then you run your, your cord through here, underneath here. There's an access point down there. You just shine a light through your fog lights and it shows. Bring it across here, a line there, where you don't have to remove this panel here. You just tuck it under. Same thing with down there. There's another access point to drop the line down for the fog lights. Then once you do that, you're gonna pull them through. Same thing on the other side. Pull it through. Well, this one, it's right here, one in. You're gonna pull it through, see? Then, to get to them, the actual be able to put the screws in, because it comes already pre-made, the bumper does, you just take off the, all of the screws underneath, underneath there, all them screws, and that one right here. Then you pop this down, like that, like so. Instead of taking out the whole thing, you just pop it enough where you can get your arm in there and work in the little area that you need to work. Then you're gonna screw in the fog lights. That's the next step. And then I'll show from there. Now the fog light is in. All you gotta do is put the, the bezel. Put it on top. Like so. And everything. So finally got it done. We had a little problem with this screw right here, this top one. The top one you have to kind of engineer something to get in there is really tight because of the washer fluid uh, thing. I gotta put that back still. I just wanted to make sure they work. The polarity is right. Um, I put the ground right there instead of there or instead of anywhere else because that was just the easy place to do it. I run the wire all the way through so you can't really tell if you're looking at it, you can't tell. That's the light, the nice LEDs, really nice. So then, there's the button. You can run it by itself, like with any of the lights, automatic. Put automatic lights like that. So everything will go together. Then, so, and then, boom, that's it. Woo. Oh, sorry. Then you run it to the the power outlet one. That's the one you run it to. The power outlet one. That's how you get it. Mm -hmm.